Hi everyone, welcome to the 75th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about discretization. So what is discretization? In statistics and machine learning, discretization refers to the process of converting or partitioning continuous attributes, features or variables into discretized or normal attribute features, variables or intervals. So what does it mean that I'll be coming later and like where we can apply it So be before uh, where we can apply we will uh, see how we can like uh, apply discretization using Python. So as usual we will import the binarizer from like sklm.preprocessing and also we'll import the numpy package and we will execute this. So once it's executed we will create our count variable which is an array we will execute these three lines okay now what is our count okay uh, uh, array is found now if you want to discretize it you, rather it means converting it into the groups or a bins okay so we'll create a binarizer object and we'll pass here the, suppose my limit is 20 here okay okay now if we execute this so you can see the value which is less than or equal to 20 the value is converted here 0 the value which is greater than 25 greater than 20 greater than it is converted as like 1 1 1 1 now suppose if we give here value of 30 the value which is greater than 30 is 45 this is actually dividing your partitioning the data and we can visualize it using the uh, import matplotlib.py as plt. Then what we'll do? Plt.hist and we will pass uh, this thing will give us. Okay, now in this we will pass this x plus two bit and then plt. We can see how it is distributed. Now if we give the value here as what will happen how the bits will be formed okay so you can say this is how like all the values 15 10 uh, 20 value will be greater than 1 now we'll try something else now we'll break up into different bits so for that we will uh, create an object x is equal to and we dot digitize and uh, after that we will uh, pass the count comma bits is equals to comma 10 comma 30 comma after that we will do the same thing plt dot uh, plot one plot and we will plot the x variable followed by plt dot show then again we will do plt dot list and then plt dot execute this now the first thing is you will get this curve how it is represent your data followed by this bits now if you clearly look at the count 5 is there okay uh, then you have 10 you have different values here which correspond to this count and which the value of which count falls under which bit that it is being shown here now coming to this where we can use it well this can be useful when creating probability mass function formally intense i have already shown the probability mass function in one of my previous video and it's also in the use in the testing the uh, density estimation it is a form of discretization in general also been as it may, uh, as in the making a histogram so whenever continuous data is discretized there is always some amount of discretization error now what is the goal of discretization the goal is to reduce the amount to a level considered negligible for the modeling purpose as at, at hand so so this is the way we can discretize and achieve the modeling whatever we are trying so thanks a lot for watching the video if you feel this uh, session is helpful please uh, press the like button and do subscribe to this channel and if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video thank you